Hi, I'm Tony, and this is my truck. I'm here to show you how to get in and out of London Gateway as quickly as possible. Before you visit, make sure your company has registered you and you have a London Gateway ID card, like this one. We can't all be George Clooney, can we? If you don't have a card, you'll face a charge and be delayed. Right, let's get on the road. You should have a booking through the London Gateway Vehicle Booking System, or VBS, before you arrive. It's designed to save you time. This is the OCR portal. This is where London Gateway logs your vehicle and containers to check everything matches up on your VBS. No need to stop here. If you are out of gauge, you need to swipe your card at the pedestal to the left and proceed to pre-gate in. If you've registered, all you need to do here at pre-gate in is swipe in. If you don't have a London Gateway card, then park up on lane number five and go to the gate help desk for a temporary one. This will take a bit of time and there's a fee. If you're fully booked in and everything is running to time, the main gate should be as easy as pie. Just swipe your London Gateway card at the pedestal and hey presto. It's easy, isn't it? The ticket has all the details of your booking, including the location of your drop-off and or pick-up. You must follow the sequence of the drop-off and or pick-up shown here. Now continue through the call forward zone without stopping at the next set of pedestals. If there are any delays, instead of getting a ticket here, you'll be instructed to move forward to the call forward zone. When your details come up on the big screen, proceed to the next set of pedestals to collect your ticket. Great, we're halfway through the process. Before we continue, here are a few tips to save you some time. Before your first visit, make sure your company has registered you as a driver on the VBS and you have a London Gateway ID card. You will be charged if you visit the port without your card. You will not be allowed into the port if you do not have a VBS slot or arrive before or after your slot. If you arrive early, you can use London Gateway's lorry parking facilities at gate 2. If you're running late, you can change your VBS booking up to an hour before your slot. No shows and late cancellations will be charged. London Gateway handles a huge amount of container traffic and these systems are in place to help you get in and out of the port quickly. Follow these simple rules and you'll be back out on the road again in no time. Right, let's drop this container off. Follow the signs to your Landside Transfer Zone module and reverse into any free space. Make sure you keep between the yellow lines or your container will not be loaded. OK, all parked up now. Before you get out, make sure you have your required PPE. Hard hats, steel toe cap boots, high-vis jacket. London Gateway has a safety system that uses a light curtain. If you enter the loading zone while the container is being loaded or unloaded, the whole operation will stop until the area is made safe and the system reset. This will result in significant delays for you and other drivers being serviced in the same module. So, don't forget to check your twist locks before going to the pedestal to start the loading and unloading procedure. Swipe your card at the pedestal and follow the on-screen messages. When the alarm sounds and light flashes on the pedestal, you'll know your container is ready to be loaded or unloaded. Just follow the instructions. Once the spreader is in position, you'll be instructed to hold down the presence button until the container is loaded or unloaded. If you let go of the button, the operation will stop and manual intervention will be required and you'll be delayed. This is a safety mechanism in case any problems occur. Once the spreader has returned to the stack, an alarm will sound and the light on the pedestal will turn off, letting you know it's safe to return to your cab. Job done. Let's quickly review the rules of landside interchange. You must park inside the yellow lines. When you leave your vehicle's cab, you must be wearing a hard hat, 
steel toe cap boots and a high vis jacket. Before going to the pedestal, check your twist locks. Closely follow the instructions on the pedestal. When loading or unloading a container, make sure you continue to hold down the presence button if instructed. If any problems occur with your loading, let go of the button or press the red emergency button. The process for picking up a container is the same as I've already shown you. Just head for the correct module displayed on your ticket. When you finish your drop off or pick up, just exit the port by heading back to the gate area, where you'll go through the OCR portal, pre-gate out and main gate out. If there are any issues on the way out of the port, you'll receive instructions at one of the pedestals. Have a safe journey and take care.